Hi, welcome back to Learn Me Some English Daily News Podcast 32. My name is Jean Meeson. Today's article, My Better Half, The Many Words for Spouse. You can find this article at engoo.com, where you can also find many different articles in English. You can find me at www.learnmesomeenglish.com. Today, we will begin with the vocabulary. I will give you the word, the definition, and an example sentence. I would like you to stop and make your own sentences with each word as you can. We then will continue with the article, followed by some comprehension questions. Okay, let's begin with the vocabulary. One, affectionate, adjective, feeling or showing love or care. It's lovely to see a father who's so affectionate with his children. Two, private, adjective, of a conversation, information, feeling, etc., involving a particular person or group and dealing with things that are not revealed to others. I don't know much about Jacob's private life because all of our interactions have been work-related so far. Three, formal, adjective, relating to or suitable for traditional, official, or professional situations, places, etc. I think you should wear something a little more formal to the interview. Four, old-fashioned, adjective, having or based on a style, type, etc. from the past. You can call me old-fashioned, but I much prefer reading a regular book rather than one on a screen. Five, rhyme, verb, of a word, line, in a song, etc., to have or end with the same sound as another. I can't think of anything that rhymes with orange. Six, acronym, noun, a word form from the initial letters of other words and pronounced as a word. P-I-N is actually an acronym that stands for Personal Identification Number. Okay, now on to the article. My better half, the many words for spouse. Many couples have affectionate names for their partners, but quite often these are best kept private. However, there are lots of different words that people use for their partners when talking about them in public instead of using husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Sometimes these words are just made shorter, often in instant messaging, but also when we're speaking. For example, boyfriend and girlfriend become BF and GF. A husband might also be called hubby, although that's a name we'd use among friends, not in a more formal situation. There are lots of informal terms that the British use for their partners. My missus or the missus might be used for a woman and my fella for a man. Fella comes from the word fellow, an old fashioned word for a man or boy. In recent years across the English speaking world, the terms my boo and my bae have become more popular. They can be used for either a boyfriend or girlfriend and they're also informal. Boo probably comes from the French word beau, meaning beautiful. And this is actually another word people sometimes use for boyfriend, my beau, pronounced to rhyme with toe. Bay comes from babe or baby and is used by young people. It's also said to be an acronym for before anybody else. So it can be used to talk about the most important person in someone's life. A term that some people choose in many situations is my other half. It shows that you believe you and your partner to be two halves that make a whole. Or a little nicer is my better half. Significant other can also be used. Significant means important, and people also sometimes just use SO in instant messaging. Okay, now on to the comprehension question. One, which of the words from the article did you find interesting? Two, are there many different words for romantic partners in your language? Three, what words do people use in your language when talking about romantic partners in public? And four, are there any names for romantic partners that you dislike? I hope you enjoyed today's article. Again, my name is Jean Meeson. You can find me at www.learnmeasomenglish.com. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.